Yeah, it's to, uh, yeah, Sally. Um, and uh, Sally, did you have specific actors in mind uh, when you wrote the script originally? Um, I had some specific actors in mind, and um, gradually, in the magic of the casting process, which happened with the casting directors I was working with, um, you, you begin to project actual actors into the parts that have been written. And um, um, it's only the moment when you meet an actor and they start to speak the, the lines that you've written for the first time that the whole thing suddenly embodies. It becomes real. They are the person. I try and write, and, and I rewrite slightly when I've met an actor and I know they're going to do it, so that it feels as if no other person in the universe could play that part and um, that kind of fitting feeling. And um, so even if I did think of anybody else, I've entirely forgotten who they were because as far as I'm concerned, this is the dream team. OK, I can take one more question here from the BFI. Yes, over here. Get the microphone just there. Thank you. This is also a question for Sally. Um, maybe could you talk to us a little bit about your choice to use the monologue form throughout the film and how that relates, I guess, to the overall narrative and as well to, to the kind of pared down cinematic style that you've employed here? Yeah. Well, monologues, of course, are a very ancient form, as are soliloquies, dramatically speaking, in the theatre. It's also a very modern form through the confessional in, in reality TV, and, and as, as Riz was referring to, too. So it seemed to me that there was something about a, a great link from, from the old to the new. It's also, of course, what happens in therapy or psychoanalysis. Somebody goes on and on and on, uninterrupted, and inadvertently starts to reveal things. And it was that that I wanted to look at. What happens under conditions where somebody is listened to attentively without interruption, the truth starts to emerge, whether they like it or not. And it was to, to look at that gap and, and see what happened in the context of a world which generally involves a certain amount, let's say, of pretense. Good. OK, well, we're pretty much out of time. I just wanted to thank you, uh, Lily, in New York for taking part. Lily! <laughs> with, all the, <laughs> with all the challenges. Also, thanks to Eddie Izzard. <laughs> and uh, thanks here on, on stage to Risa Ahmed, Simon O'Curry, and, and Sally Potter. And thank you very much. Look. Thank you. Um, thank you, questioners from all the cinemas. Thank you from text, SMSs. And thank you all very much for being part of this first worldwide interactive cinema experience. Yeah.